What's up everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean the Shipping Company Let's Play series. Uh, last episode we ended it going, sending our uh, the Alabama here to Halifax. We've got the Merce going up to Nook and I want to say it's Baseland maybe. I'm not really sure though. We have the uh, Explorer here. Looks like she is ready to go as well. Uh, she, we remember we repaired her and she is supposed to be on her way to Los Angeles. She uh, couldn't get any more contracts. We can't fuel up. Why can we not fuel up? Oh, because she's fully fueled. That's why we can't fuel up. Uh, doy, 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 doy. Um, Balboa. I, let's see if there's anything to Balboa. Is there anything? Nope. Okay. I was just saying, if there's something along the way, why not take it, right? Make more money on the way. So let's get out of here. We'll automatically cast off. Uh, and let's see, we've got the Solo, which was our newest ship. Remember, we bought a new Panamax ship last episode, and uh, we called her the iVision Solo. The only one that didn't get our name here is the Explorer, um, because I wasn't really thinking. For some reason, I thought, like, when I bought her, because it had probably been a while since I bought a ship, was that we uh, set the name iVision from the company name, transferred over onto the vessel, and it didn't. So that was my fault. Ooh, dang, there goes the investor shares, huh? 24 million, wow. I don't know, does anyone know how that's calculated? Like, is it based on like a certain percentage of like your total like balance here? I don't even, like, how does she come up with the money? It just keeps going higher, I feel like, the more money I make. So let's dock her in Nook. Um, we're gonna go manually, I think this is the first time to Nook. I think I'm pronouncing that right, Nook, Nook, Nook. I guess Nook would be N-N-O-N-O-O-K. Kind of like the uh, the Nook reader, so I guess you could say this is the the Nook. Then I feel like if you say Nook, it'd be with the C, and this is definitely our first time here. One I could tell by here, but I could tell like all oh, these like islands here, like holy cow, you definitely get a big vessel in here. I don't think. definitely gonna need a little feeder ship in here. I think we're gonna keep the speeds down, just uh, be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side, I'm trying to figure out like where are we gonna go? Like where's this? Like how are we? We just gonna go on the. I think we're going on the left side of it. Oh yeah, definitely stay on the left side here. See that the dock is there. This is wow. This is uh, quite the port here, I will say. Oh look at this thing! It's driving on on. Wow, it was driving on the ocean. All right, let's reduce speed down a little bit more. Now it's like grinding on the rocks. They do have a uh, actual crane here though. Which is quite surprising. Man, these ships, I'm just so used to the Explorer now, like, just not thinking ahead enough for how much these ships just don't turn. Alright, let's, uh, let's get her going here. Get her back going. Alright, we can go straight now, it'll be good. Alright, let's increase to four knots because I want to dock this thing. Wow, but this port. Jeez, well, hopefully they'll turn us around. There actually is a little crane here, so we can get something in, I believe, besides a feeder. Uh, we could get... What's the next one from a feeder? I forget. I'll have to look. Like I said, I do want to get, like, another feeder, though, one with a little bit more carrying capacity. So I'd like to get some company, some company contracts, and we will slow down there, and there she is. It's not a bad first dock in Nook, and that was definitely worth it here. Wow, docking fees are, uh... This is the cheapest so far that uh, port for us probably will be the cheapest as well because it is so far remote don't see anything wow there isn't really much we could go from here we could go to the georgia ports though uh, i think we should yeah we'll definitely have enough we can make it so that'll be another port then to uh, um america so that'll be good for us so let's do that let's grab that it definitely isn't much uh, cargo though so it's kind of sucks but uh, we're at 88%. This would be actually a good port to uh, to actually get this ship up to 100% as well. Remember, that's one of the new things we're trying to do. So let's do that while uh, as the time goes by so fast. I just just can never keep a track. All right, so we do have new contracts. Let's just check. Oh yeah, see, this is why, because like we could download some of that as well for the Georgia ports. That just gives us just so much more. Now we can make more money on that. That's why 
That's why we wanted to check the ports. So that is good. Let's just get this ship going here. Uh, more new contracts. As far as I know, this is the only ship. Honolulu. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's the only ship that's not docked, right? Or that's the only ship docked? Yeah. Because that's on the Halifax, Los Angeles, Kiel and Ports. I'm not really sure what's going to be where first. We got more new contracts, and then. And uh, we're almost ready actually to go. So that'll be go. Let's just stay here, and she's ready to go. So let's cast her off. Cool. Oh, we got to get some fuel, that's why. Need some fuel. 690. We're going to be heading to the George Ports. I think that'll be good. I think probably in Georgia we'll have cheaper prices. So, let's do it. Let's get her out of here. She can go at full power and be good. So that'll be nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, let's keep her moving, moving, moving. And, uh, what we got here? Alright, the Explorers in Los Angeles. I'm actually going to dock this one manually. If you guys have not seen us in Los Angeles, this would be a good way be to check this out in Los Angeles again. I'll probably put, like dock in the bigger ports manually so that way you guys can see that. But not in the smaller ports. I think we'll stick just in the major ports um, that I'll dock manual or may yeah I'll dock manually. Like this. So maybe I'll pick like a couple of ports in like a couple of different areas where we can dock dock manually for you guys. But we are here in Los Angeles. I can guarantee this is not any good much of a representation of the, of the port of Los Angeles but I don't know for sure we can't really see much you know like that's the other thing like there's it's just hard to tell like is it really Los Angeles port or is it not it looks like a hospital over here that's kind of cool all right let's see what we got here it looks like this will probably be our berth yep right there's our berth so this will be a nice one to pull into and uh, they've already got a ship coming through. Oh, we saw it. Oh, what's this? Look at that. Like an accident on the bridge. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's smoking. Oh, wow. That's crazy. All right, we should probably start turning, eh? Should probably start turning. There we go. That's good. Actually, that one's docked. That is cool. We actually have a dock ship sitting there. And the cranes are moving. Maybe she's just getting ready to take off. Looks like her engines are spooling up a little bit. We should uh, get a little bit closer to this dock here. Get just a little bit closer. We've got plenty of time to get there. Plenty of time. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Right? Just like that. Wonder, I don't know, you guys know what this like mast is on the front of the ship? I don't know, like, what is that for? Is that like for guidance or... I feel like it would be for guidance. Or maybe it's just a way for them to see the front of the ship. Because with all them containers stacked up so high, they wouldn't be able to see it otherwise. That would make sense. But that was Los Angeles, guys. So definitely worth it there. We're up 10 million. Let's see where we can go to next. Um... We go to Halifax, Quinnish, Hong Kong. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, I know what we have to do though. Uh, Doi. Uh, last episode when I was get, doing the stuff with the solo, I want to see. Um, whoops, we don't want to establish a subsidiary. Uh, what the thing was here, and she has she has refrigeration, so so that is what she does have. Um. Let's see what the uh, docking fees here. Forty-six. Oh, holy cow! We are not staying in Los Angeles, guys. Holy cow! <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that much. So now it's actually like really starting to show like how much money we probably were just kind of wasting sitting around in ports. Um, but I will say though, like take, like sitting in some ports for a certain time might not be so bad as others. Um. Just trying to figure out like where I want to go. Could go to Cape Town, um, with some weapons. I know we don't have the license for it, but ah, you know what? I think it'll be worth it to get the license, though. I think it'll be worth it. Let's do it. Let's go to Cape Town. Let's take that on. Let's improve the ship for weapons. 
Um, it's gonna take four days though. Wow. It's gonna be costly, but I think it's it'll be worth it. We got. Wow. We got a lot of ships ready to dock here. The Solo is ready to dock in the Kian Ports, which is in Japan. Number 18th ranking port in the world. It's kind of cool. Tokyo Tower. That almost looks like kind of like the Eiffel Tower. But here is the uh, Solo. It's a little bit smaller than the uh, the Explorer. But she definitely, she's still kind of nice. I don't like the cargo in the back though. It's just, it's like, it's just kind of, it's like an eyesore to me. Oh, it's, but see, like, we can't even see, like, couldn't even see that mass. It's not even above that container. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, the key in ports. Here we are. The iVision Trading Company making a splash. I think it'll be interesting, like, in Trans Ocean 2. I don't know how they're going to do it, but, like, we're going to actually see other ships from rival companies and ports and stuff, I think. At least I think. I don't know for sure. Oh, no, I don't never even played the multiplayer on this one to know, like, how, how that works. I would imagine they're probably, the multiplayer from this game's kind of set up for, it's basically how rivals will be for, for Trans Ocean 2. If you don't know, the name of Trans Ocean 2 is Trans Ocean 2 Rivals. So that has been confirmed. Um, the only thing that has not been confirmed yet is the release date, um, but it is slated for quarter one of 2016 here. So we're at eight knots. Let's slow down a little bit. This is a nice port to get in and out of. But see, this kind of reminds me of Los Angeles a little bit, just because I've seen somewhat of a recent look at Los Angeles port, and they have like these slips, slips that lined up, and they have like another sh one ship here, another ship there. So that kind of reminds me of that, but that's the key imports we are in. We are ready to go. Let's see what we got. So while we're here, 46,000. That's another big wow. Key imports. This is another one we do not want to stay in at very long. So let's uh, let's load her right up right away and get her out of here. And Salala. Could go, go back to the Africa areas. The Africa areas. Ooh, toys. That's a new one. I've never seen toys. We headed for Stockholm. Um, oh, I think that's showing that it would take too long. We'd have a penalty. Is that what that... Oh, deadline's tight. Oh, that's right. Cause we got to go up to... Uh, well, I just still... Never mind. We are... Yes, we are getting right out of here, boys. Right out of here. Let's just check uh, fuel prices really fast. I just want to check the fuel prices. Let's pause that. Uh, and that's in Europe. Was not? Is that not in Europe? A lot of stoke. Let stoke. It is not in Europe. Asia. There we go. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting fuel in lot of stoke. So let's just get uh, like just enough to get us out of here. And uh, let's cast her off. That is all we need. It'll take arrival in three days, arrival in two days. We could get there at full power, but it's still only going to be two days. So let's get her out of there. Let's send her off. Goodbye. And yep, here's the Alabama ready to dock in Halifax. I believe this is the first time in Halifax as well. So we will manually go in, obviously. And that'll be good. We are, we're making progress, I think, here. We are definitely making progress. Oh, this will be good here. Good, good, good. Remember, guys, check us out. Episode number two, I talked about fuel prices. Very important in this game. Try and get fuel at the cheapest ports and not overpay, you know, at these other really expensive ports. Like, he and ports want, like, 729 euros per, per I guess it would be per, per, per gallon. And while, what are we going to have to do here? This is crazy. I think we're going to have to swing her. Oh, yeah, we're going to swing all the way over. Wow, this is weird. This sucks. Major. Majorly, this sucks. Um, alright, so we're gonna slow down, but we're gonna have to get try and get as close as I can. But, like, Key and Ports want 700 some dollars, or 729, and then, like, where we're headed now, the Vlad, whatever, whatever the V word was, um, 
is gonna be I think that's the right way no it's not the right way um it's only gonna be like 300 and something so let me check that out episode number two guys I think it was episode number two um, checking fuel prices um, I explained that a little bit in there so it definitely help you save money obviously now the other thing we're talking about is the port fees which will obviously help us save money as well but also like it makes sense having to repair like having your ship up at 100% and then just kind of trying to keep her up there because you're not going to be sitting in these ports for as long and uh this is this could be a long process here because we're gonna have to back up try and get into a straighter line uh this is a terrible port to pull into because you're basically pulling in on this port like straight in on it so <clears throat> all right let's uh start swinging her the other way now and then let's uh We'll head in like kind of like straight on an angle here because this dock is kind of angled anyhow. So let's do it. Let's head in again. Hopefully we got enough room now to make the maneuvers we need to make with this ship. This ship drives me nuts. Drives me nuts here. Alright, here we go. Increasing to four knots. We'll head her in straight like this. We'll start the turn. This way, if we're coming in too, I think it'll be perfect. It'll be just perfect, yeah. There we go. Don't overcorrect for anything. We're going to start slowing down because we're, it's going to be a close, it's going to be a close, close, tight fit here for us. But let's cut it in. Let's swing her now. See if we can get that swing in. Or I'm gonna call that drift. Yeah, see, we're gonna get that drift because we're hard over. But it actually works out really well for us that we get that drift. And there she is. So that is Halifax. Ooh, the next big contract. And uh, St. Petersburg wants to put on an international exhibit for specialty coffee in order to build a home market. They want to ship 100 tons of coffee from Balboa. Buenos Aires, Santos, Lima, and Havana. Um, I think we could do that. I think we could do that. That's that. And the contract has already been signed, and we have to pay a penalty if we don't complete on time. So I guess we got no choice. We got to do that. We've got four months to do that stuff, and so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to figure things out. We need to go to Balboa. So I just want to write this stuff down now. So now these are where the episodes are going to start getting a little bit longer because we got a lot more work to do. And all I could do, like, we'll go over this stuff off camera. I, I think it would just be, this is nicer for you guys to see, like, actual, the actual work process and, like, the whole logistic side of it all. So, there's obviously none of these are in America, which sucks for us because we're still trying to remember we got to get 30 contracts over to, to and from America. So that sucks, but we're headed to New York now. There's nothing here for us. So let's just go. 414 is not bad, so we'll fully fuel her up. Why not? And let's cast off to New York. We'll get there in three days' time. So that is good. All right, the Explorer is actually ready. Um, she's kind of loaded as well. She's loaded up with her uh, weapons. Uh, we remember we are going to let's clear all that Cape Town here, uh, and so uh, we do need to go to Buenos Aires. Can we go to Buenos Aires and then Cape Town? I think we could. Let's do it because remember we have to go to Buenos Aires for this coffee, and then go back up to St. Petersburg. So this will actually be good. Let's let's go to Buenos Aires with the machinery, and uh, we'll take that. I know we don't have the insulation; it's the wrong ship, but it's definitely it'll be good. It'll be good. So let's do that. We're gonna... Hmm, do we even bother with the... I'm not even gonna bother with the two days, guys. To get that... Actually... Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I mean, it's this contract between this was 27 million. I mean, if we get fined, we get fined. I'm fine with it. Let's, so let's just cast this guy off. 423. Feels actually really cheap around here. We're going to Balboa, right? Buenos Aires. That's where we're headed. 
We do need to stop in Balboa, though. Um, it's a shame we don't have anything to Balboa as well that we can grab from. We might have to just end up sending ships to these areas as well. Just to, uh, to get the money we need. Alright, the Solo is ready to dock in Vladivostok. That's how I'm going to pronounce that. So we're going to dock her and... Uh, then I'm going to figure out some logistic stuff afterwards off camera for as much as I can. So, this will be good. Not a super, super long episode. Part of it's because my mouth is just starting to, to bother me for whatever reason. Kind of dry. So, it's starting to irritate me. So, that is kind of why we're cutting this episode just a little short today. But, remember, remember this is, this is Transocean, the shipping company, guys. This is our Let's Play. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well at iVision Gaming. Um, there I'll post game deals and other stuff um, for you guys as well. But you know, if we're doing something different maybe, or if I got some ideas, or you know, if I do something different, I might like, create a poll to see if there's something you guys liked or not. Um, also, I'll probably put like a list of games up there. Um, that we might start going into next, and you guys can vote on which one you guys would like to see next as well. But so there's different ideas of what we're gonna do on there. So make sure you follow us on Twitter at iVision Gaming. And uh, here we are in Vladivostok, and that's a good, nice dock for us for the first time. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day.